Good morning, Mount Vernon Middle School, and welcome to our second episode of The Buzz. I wanted to start today's episode by sharing something that I think is really incredible. Right now, around the world, there are some pretty awesome things that are still happening. And one of them has to do with coral reefs. Now, I love coral reefs. I think they're awesome. I love the ocean. So one of the things that they're able to do right now, especially in places like Australia, is because there's no tourists out in the water, they're able to go out and they are helping the coral recover. Coral reefs have been in danger for a while due to a variety of things. And because they've had this extra time off from tourists who maybe accidentally are doing things that are harming the reefs, they're able to get out. And if you can see in this picture here, there are divers who are, they're putting new coral out. They're helping to grow new reefs, which helps the ocean's ecosystems. There's another picture here of just different ways that they're able to go out and do that. If you uh, are thinking like, oh, hey, why does that matter? How can I help? Using less plastics, that's something that you're able to do that would help coral reefs. If you have questions about like things you can do for conservation, you can go to the Columbus Zoo or to their website, and they do a lot that helps with coral reef recovery. And I know that seems kind of random, but it's just something that I thought, you know what? That's really awesome that that's going on right now in something that you can participate in making the earth a better place. A couple of your teachers wanted to give some shout outs. Um, Mrs. Harbaugh wanted to give a shout out to Mrs. Pugh because Mrs. Pugh is out there using her free time to make masks for people that need them. And frankly, that's amazing that she's able to, A, that she has the skill to do it, and B, that she's willing to take her time to do something that's just going to benefit a whole lot of people. Mrs. Smith wanted to give a shout out to Team Swadere. Hope you're doing well. And Mrs. Beach wanted to give a shout out to all of the student athletes. We are sorry that you were not able to finish this season. Uh, next year, we're hoping you're going to be able to just jump back in and pick that back up. And to the eighth grade, she also wanted to shout out. This was not the ending to your eighth grade year that we were looking for. And, you know, unfortunately, that's life right now. But we're hoping that this doesn't stop you from being awesome next year. Now it's time for a, an interesting game we'll be doing here on The Buzz called The Game of Smells. My lovely wife has gathered some things, I don't know what they are, for me to smell and see if I can guess what they are. Um, the correct answer will be written here, and I'm just gonna take a big whiff and see what it is. So here we go. Okay, we're back with our first smell. Ooh. Um, oh, um, it's, uh, it's Pepto. Pepto. Yes. That is distinct. Here's number two. Number two. Pickles. Mmm. I love <coughs> I don't it smells like a dirty diaper. Ew. That's correct. Oh. <coughs> okay, what's the next one? I don't know. It smells like outside. Close. <laughs> Flowers? It's a plant. Pretty close. And the next one? Oh. That smells like the dog farted. <laughs> yep. And now time for the last one. Ew. It still <laughs> smells like the dog farted and garbage. <laughs> That's because it's the dog! <laughs>
because my guest today is Mrs. Essex. Good morning, Mrs. Essex. Good morning. How are you today? I am great. Good, the good. The sun is shining, so that makes it a good day. Oh, I know. It's so nice. Uh, I'm going to go outside later to teach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I have really bad allergies, and I don't care. I'm going outside. It's worth it. Yes. So, as everybody knows, Mrs. Essex is our music teacher, but there's so much more to her than just that. One of her other hobbies is running. Um, isn't that right, Mrs. Essex? That is correct. So, what got you into, what made you decide, like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go, and I'm going to get started with running, because me personally, it's a chore. <laughs> I agree. And I felt like that. I agreed with you for probably like the first, um, oh, 49 years of my life. Mm -hmm. Like I was the person in middle school who, when we had to run the mile, I was just like, this is the worst day of my life. Um, and like when I tried out for the middle school basketball team, even though I was pretty good at playing basketball, I hated how much they made us run. Yeah. in the tryouts. So I didn't go back to the second day of tryouts and the coach was like, what happened to you? And I was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, there's too much He's running like, involved. You're going to be my point guard. And I was like, nope, sorry, not for me. Um, so, um, yeah, so up until I've always like kind of worked out off and on and then I like sports. Um, but I just didn't like running. Yeah. So like, as an adult, like there was a couple times where I would start running and um, like have a goal in mind, like to run a half marathon or something like that. But I still hated every single minute of it. But I was like, I set this goal and I'm going to do it. So that's kind of how I got into it again. Um, but it just became more something that I that I fell in love with. So like I knew from looking out um, at races that the Columbus Marathon. Um, they like set their race dates a few years in advance. Yeah. And I saw that there was a, mar the marathon was being run. Um, it's always in October, but the, the one in October um, for last year was actually on my 50th birthday or almost two years ago now. Um, so oh. I was like, so like maybe five years ago, I was like, well, that would be kind of cool to run a marathon on your 50th birthday. Yeah. But then I never like thought about it again. And I was totally, totally out of shape. And then about two years so when I turned 49 in that October, so a year before my 50th, which would have been on my birthday, I was like, well, if I'm going to do it, I got to do it. <laughs> Now's the time. <laughs> so you just were like, I'm going to commit and not look back. Exactly. And in that process, I kind of just, that was the time that I turned, that I found out that I love running. I like totally turned around. It was just like my alone time. I could go out, be by myself. Lots of people like to run with other people, but I just like it as a long time. Put on my headphones, zone out, and just go. Awesome. Well, congratulations. How many marathons and half marathons have you done now? Um, I've only done the one marathon. Um, I was going to do it this last year um, in October, but I had to do the half marathon instead because I had like, um, overuse injuries, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> um, <laughs> my hip was really bothering me. So I had to back off a little bit. Um, so I've only done the one marathon. I think I've done like four or five half marathons. Well, if you add all those up, that's well, yeah, gotta, that's got to count no, for something. Like three and a half marathons or something. I don't know. <laughs> right. Cause I have done no marathons unless you count like binging shows on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I've done really those kind of say. marathons, but yeah, yeah. are you training for a race right now? Not right now. Um, right now, all the races have been canceled just like everything else. Um, and then I was going to do, I had planned on doing the Columbus, the Cap City half marathon. Um, that would have been like this past weekend, like yesterday, oh, yeah. I think. Um, but, um, yeah, that was canceled too. So I'm just, just doing stuff now, running, working out, strength uh, training, that kind of stuff. Yesterday, Mrs. Sivright told us that she did a virtual 5k that was yeah. Harry Potter themed. 
Yes. And she got this really awesome, like, owl-shaped medal and a wand. And I'm like, all right, that might be something I could do to get me to go yes. do some running. There are – so a lot of, like – there's there's a lot of companies that always do these virtual races, and they have all kinds of cool medals for people who, like, collect medals. I have one, like – I did one last year that was, like, May the 4th Be With You, and it was a Chewbacca <sighs> medal. Oh, that was my like gosh. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. So there's all kinds of stuff out there. And then a lot of the regular races now are going virtual um, just so that – because a lot of races are run, like, for fundraisers and stuff like that. So they right. still try to support their causes. So a lot of those are doing virtual races now too. So I do have a couple of those coming up. Um, well, then what would you recommend for someone like me or any of our students that are like, but I hate running, but – I would like to be more active. What's something you would recommend to kind of motivate or get going with it? So having a goal in mind, I think is good, even if it's like, and, and the nice thing about running is, and this is hard to do, it's hard to not compare yourself to other people, but the nice thing about running is you can kind of keep track of your own personal progress without comparing yourself to other people. So like if running a mile, which that has been that there have been there have been times where that was my goal where I just want to be able to run a mile without stopping. Um, so maybe work up to that or um, be able to, you know, run a mile in 10 minutes or in eight minutes, whatever your goal is. Um, and just work on those those uh, small goals that you set for yourself. And the other thing is, too, that um, there's a lot of programs for running where it's not just about running all the time, like straight through. It's like, um, and you can get these little apps for your phone where it's like run, run a minute, wa walk a minute. Or even oh, okay. like start out, like run 30 seconds, walk a minute, run 30 seconds. And then, then, you know, the next week you move up to, you know, run a minute walk for 30 seconds or whatever it is like those couch to 5k things those oh, are really good that's a good idea couch to 5 i think isn't that an app called yeah, couch yeah, to yeah, 5K? yeah okay well well then for me or anybody else that wants to you know just be in better shape as you know because running is obviously it's good for your heart it's good cardiovascular exercise mm -hmm. so that might be something i could look into yeah. And I mean, set your own goals because I am not fast. I've never been fast in my life. I was not blessed with fast genes. Um, but you know, I can go out and I can, I can go for a pretty long time if I've trained for it. So just set your own goals and just kind of do it for yourself, I think is important. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, is there anything else that we, Oh wait, I had another question. Okay. What is, what is your favorite song to run to? Or if you don't have a favorite song, do you have a favorite genre of music that you like to run to? I have a running playlist that okay. it's like, um, it's pretty long at this point, but it has, it has literally every genre on there, like from rap to country to um, everything. Anything that like motivates me and has a good beat, I really like it. Um, lately, so, but there are definitely songs that come in that, that when they come on, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the jam. This is going to, this is going to work. Um, one song that comes on that I always start singing along to, and I never even had heard this song. I'm not really a big country person, but I think it's, I think Miranda Lambert sings it. It's called My Little Red Wagon. Um, I think that, yes. for some reason I just start grooving when I hear that song. <laughs> <laughs> and she when goes, I, you can't ride in my little red wagon. <laughs> yeah, I think that is her. <laughs> For me, when I find the motivation to get outside and go run, um, I really like the song Unstoppable by Sia. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, that's one of my favorite songs. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to I feel like I'm going to fall over, but ah, I can do it. <laughs> so. What else are you doing to stay busy this, you know, right now? Um, well, somehow I seem to have a lot of work to do for school. So that mm -hmm. keeps me pretty busy during the day. Um, and then I try to work out every day, get outside and do something. Um, a new thing I've been doing is it's um, instead of running all the time, I kind of break it up a little bit. It's called rucking. And rucking is you go out for a walk. You can kind of jog in there too, 
with a backpack and you throw some weight in it and it's oh. just like it's it's pretty cool so <laughs> you're walking you look like you know i'm walking around my neighborhood with a backpack on but and i look like a dork but um and then sometimes i'll stop and take off my backpack and like do some presses or do some um like burpees or squats <laughs> so that sounds you know, both really terrible and also really good because yeah. you know the thing with i I don't mind physical exercise. It's the running part, but that, that's interesting. You're still out enjoying nature, but hmm, yeah, rucking. I'm going to write that down. Rucking. Yes. Okay. If my pen would work. Okay. Um, and then, uh, are you reading any good books right now that it's okay if the answer is no. <laughs> no, I am. Um, my book selection <clears throat> Probably, and Mrs. Mrs. Brubaker always makes fun of me before the books that I read because yes. I'm into like historical fiction, and I've I've read some of her book recommendations and I like them, but um, but I kind of like my books better, <laughs> so <laughs> which is why there's so many books in the world so right. everyone can find something for like. everyone. Um, but I'm really, I like the historical fiction a lot. So it's kind of like half true, half not true. Um, I read, I just finished a book called Dragon Teeth by Ooh. Michael Crichton. And it was kind of this out West thing. Um, and it's not dragons. It's actually, they go, they're like paleontologists and they go digging for dinosaurs, but it's like in the wild West. Um, so that was pretty cool. I read I read Jurassic Park because I'm mm -hmm. like I love the movie I want to read the book. Right, it was really good. A dragon's dragon teeth. Dragon teeth, yeah. Dragon teeth. I'm gonna look into that. Yeah. Um, the okay. second half it starts oh. kind of slow, but the second half is really good. All right, dragon <laughs> teeth. That's good to know. Um, Mrs. Sivright left a question for you. What is your strangest purchase from? being at home being at home like within the last month i don't know that i've made like any really strange purchases i have made some random purchases like i bought um a keychain <laughs> which is kind of like random. <laughs> that is kind of random but i was like you know i need a keychain so that my keys just isn't just like in my just hanging there by itself so i bought a keychain which is kind of random but you know you have time to think about stuff and then you have time to look for it so right but i did invent a really a kind of weird recipe one night for dinner oh where i was just inspired and i did because my husband really likes chili dogs um, and I was like, well, we're, we're going to have chili dogs and, and potato chips. But I was like, what if I made a chili dog nacho thing? So Ooh. I did potato chips and then the chili dog sauce and then the hot dogs and then the cheese. And it was just like this mountain of goodness. And it was actually really good. That sounds real good. I've never liked chili dogs, but when I met my wife, she's like, I have this casserole that I make every fall you have to try it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I love it. It's just, it's like a can of chili with hot dogs cut up into it and then ripped up hot dog buns. Ooh. You would think like, ew, that'd be really soggy. It's not. Like it gets crispy. Cool. And then she like covers it and she, it's so good. That sounds so delicious. Good. Yeah. Your husband would probably love it. Probably. We're so. coming over for dinner when this is over with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on down. Um, would you, I would like you to leave a question for tomorrow's guest to answer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask, um, what is your spirit animal? Oh, that's a good one. What is your spirit animal? I'm going to have to give that one some thought. What is your spirit animal? Um... I think it kind of depends on the day. Uh, there are a lot of times where, or the time of day, most of the day, I'm kind of a sloth. <laughs> 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 but then like, there's like a couple hours during the day where, you know, I'm more like, um, like, I don't know. Um, what's that 
one animal where I just like go after it and get stuff done and I don't care what's in my way. Um, oh, I think there's a, probably, I would say a cheetah. Yeah. Cause they're just like, Oh, look, boom, gone. Yeah. You know, like that, you know, that, that, have you ever seen like that documentary about the honey badger? Uh, no. Oh my, oh my gosh, Jeremy, you have to look, you have to look that up. <laughs> honey badger. Oh, honey okay. Badger. Honey badger documentary. Yes. I'm, I'll find it and send it to you. Please do. Your, your life will be forever changed. Okay. I'm always on the lookout for something new everybody and interesting. Needs know, everybody needs to know about the honey badger. The honey badger. Because the honey badger don't care. The honey badger don't. Okay. Well, awesome. I'm going to look into that. Um, before you go... Um, you want to give anybody a shout out, any of the students or? Um, you know, just everybody. I just miss everybody. Um, I think we're all my, feeling that. My, my awesome hallway that is so much fun to be at school with and gets me through every single day. Um, and my lunch buddies and all my classes, even my seventh period that makes me lose my mind every day. <sighs> Um, and they know who they are and they know I love them, but um, <laughs> yes, I, yes. I even, I'm at the point where I miss losing my mind every day. So yeah, I miss it all. I agree. I totally agree with that. Well, thank you so much for being here today and I hope you get out and go run and enjoy the sunshine and the warm weather and yeah, just yeah. get after it. Absolutely. You too. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye. That's all for today's episode of The Buzz. Thank you for tuning in. I um, just wanted to remind you that if you want to do a shout-out to someone, just shoot me an email, jketterman at mvcsd.us. Um, I film one day, and the show airs the next day, so if you email me and you don't get your shout-out right away, be patient. I'll get to it. Um, and the House of Cards Challenge. I have been practicing and I still can't get it. So I need somebody out there to show me how it's done. Can you do it? <laughs> I'm seriously struggling over here. <laughs>